Hey listen guys welcome back to another launch video so in today's video I'm going to be opening up over 50 Blossom Cells chests so every single chest that I'll be opening up will contain 50 cells for Blossom Era monsters and it's all random so today I'm going to go ahead and open them all up in today's video so I hope you guys are excited if you are make sure to drop a like subscribe anyways let's go to get started So in order to get this many Blossom Cell Chests, you have to win a crazy amount of Grand Duels. Now, well, not Grand Duels, Grand Master Duels, actually. So the Grand Master Duels is obviously available um, around the weekends, basically, on the weekends. So I do want to give a huge shout out for Bunky. Um, she went ahead and actually won the first place in Grand Master Duels uh, this weekend. So she basically got tons of cells, tons of chests, which we're going to open up in just a second. So she was going to open it up, but then she was like, if you want to go ahead and open them up for a video, go ahead and do so. So today we're going to open them all up, but everybody could congratulate her in the comments. I mean, winning first place in Grand Master Duels, that's impressive because I, I've done it before. It takes a lot of time, a lot of time um, and also skill so what we're gonna do is open them up i don't think she's actually missing any blossom monsters though i really wish this was my account imagine <laughs> so she just needs to max out silex i would say lots of cells for silex hard neck gorilla slime muck who else i don't think she's actually missing any monster yeah she's a pretty good collector um but honestly if let's say this was an account with not any blossom monsters at all the best monsters to obtain or the best monsters there's an s at the end best monsters to obtain would be narada uh naya and let me see shadow yena for sure serpentex forge labs king adam talica it's crazy that they release like about four really good monsters in a row slab is good but i don't think he's as good as these ones not as good as king adam for sure um brian laden for sure Boulder are 100%. Um, maybe Epigrosis, maybe Enhancer. Sure, maybe Volcanics too. And Firefool for sure. I'm not really a huge fan of Hornroot. I'm not sure about you guys, but personally, I like the other tanks more than Hornroot. And then maybe Duke as well. Duke's actually not that bad. So, anyways, let's get into opening. What do you guys think I'm going to get the most out of? I feel like they're going to scam us with those avatars. You know how they give out those avatars sometimes? It just glitches out. Let's bring this down to like maybe 50 and then we're gonna open them all up at once. So we got 50 Oswald cells, 50 Nishan to Grape. Okay, that's a monster that you have to pay 20 bucks for. And 50 Beast Lion. This was a mate monster. So now we're gonna open up 55 of these Blossom Arrow chests. Let's see what we're gonna get. And the best monsters that we get, we're gonna go ahead and use them in a battle together. So 200. 50, oh, 100 King Adam. So if you imagine if you never had it, <laughs> same with Naya. Okay, Talica. Okay, Egersis, Egersis. Okay, Repentix. Torvox. Hmm. And Zara. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I like that one. Oh, see what I mean? <laughs> it's funny how they give out volcanic cells right after the other one. They give out only 50 Narada? What? 50 Robo Rabbit. What do you guys think about this? Do you guys think this was a good pull? So we got... We're gonna ignore that. We're only gonna focus on the good monsters. So we got 100 King Adam. So if you never had it, let's say, you were able to craft it. So doing Grand Master Duels is actually not that bad if you're like, let's say a collector, for example. If you're a grand, um, if you're a collector, Grandmaster Duels is actually not a bad idea to do. Um, but then there is Naya cells, Alica, 50 cells. They they give 50 Serpentic cells, not 100. But that monster's really good. But again, she has almost all these monsters maxed out, so <laughs> this is nothing to her really. It'll all go towards the monster cells storage, monster lab. So anyways, uh, they did give the uh, Rack Striker, which is basically worth 100 bucks um, because it was one of the uh, Bounty Hunt exclusive monsters. 50 Narada, that's another monster that you had to pay for. Then there's Firefull and so on. So what do you guys think of that? Do you guys think that was a good pull? So the best monsters that we got out of that, what, what was it really? Um, we're going to use all three good monsters together. So if I were to make a team out of those Blossom monsters, the ones that we got, and we're actually gonna go with the ones that we got a hundred cells of. Let's shall we do that? Or shall we just I don't know. Because we got cells for almost every single monster basically. Except maybe Flash Arion. I don't think I saw Flash Arion. 
or obsidian antes same with magmore okay you know what we're gonna make a team okay you know what we're gonna make a team even if they weren't 100 cells so 50 cells too so maybe we could do like Nerida. Nerida is pretty good. King Adam. Or maybe Talika, Serpentix, and King Adam. It's actually not a bad team. So what do you guys think of a team like this? <laughs> I went with something really random. So basically we have our King Adam. Um, I shouldn't be giving this talent. Let me see. Maybe Triskelis? Okay. So basically I made my team slightly tanky so that it's it's alright if we don't take the take the first turn. You know what I mean? Or the second turn or whatever. Oh, it's a mirror team. Cool. <laughs> First battle and it's a mirror team. Cool, cool, cool. So you won't be able to damage or cleanse this um, double damage. It's okay. I was expecting that. I'm going to get hit with Shadow Essence. How many? Oh, I wish I'd heal one towards the other monster. Oh, look at that. See? Sometimes you don't have to take in the first turn in order to win. <laughs> look at that. Okay, they're both gonna come back, I think. It's funny how you don't have double shadow essence. Um, I think I'll do this to eliminate you so that there's no heal or anything like that, no shield. Um, I guess I'll do... Hmm. Double damage? No, I like the heal over that. Give me the heal. Oh, the monster still died. Maybe I should have done double damage because I knew she would have died, honestly. Um, I knew he was gonna target her. I just don't understand it. Why not target the attack or the main threat? Sometimes the AI could actually be dumb. But then again, um, he wouldn't have been able to deal too much damage, I would say. Because I had a life rune on my monster. So he would have survived the hit, most likely. Now, let me see. Oh, you do have spirit. But look at the turn order. This Cupid is slow. What level is this? Wait, no. Do you, is it because you don't have any team speeds? You have one team speed. That's why. I was like, why are you so slow and you have a speed rune there? And I don't even have a speed rune on my attacker. And I'm still faster than you. But anyways, this is going to be a very easy battle. Very easy. But look, we could do... Maybe we could do the AoE light or fire. Let's do fire because that way we deal a lot of damage to Ural. Ural is going to die twice here. Which is nice. So double shadow essence and then it's gonna kick in twice again. Although it's four times on me, that's a lot. Okay, my tank is 100% dead. There's no way he's surviving all that hit, right? Yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> that's not gonna happen. Okay, there goes Spare Destiny, but it's okay because again, we can always heal. And we're pretty tanky. He's not able to eliminate us. So here we can either do the torture immunity or the heal, one of the two. I'm gonna go with the torture immunity. Doesn't really matter much. I guess we'll apply some tortures to you. In case if you do try to spam those extra turns. Maybe you will die. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do heal obviously. And I guess we'll do this. Oh yeah, he's dead from all those stuff. I'm just gonna let you get a turn in, die, and then get another turn and you can do whatever. Radiance, AoE. Oh, look at this. And so we're just gonna heal. Well, I could have actually applied some damage boost, but we don't really need it. He's low one HP anyways. But overall, um, this team is actually not that bad. For those of you guys that want to like maybe copy the setup if you want for like your PvP attack team or something, it's not bad I would say. You know what I mean? You got your supporter, healer, uh, damage booster. You got your attacker, pierced attacker, and you got your tank, one of the best tanks in the game, if not the best tank actually in the game. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought about those chest openings. Do you guys think it was a good pull or not? I think it, I personally think it was actually not that bad. But again, congrats to Bunky for finishing first and winning 500 Astro Knights uh, from the Grandmaster Duels. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.